problem here. We're asked, what is the low frequency voltage gain for our amplifier? And then we're given some more information about the specific problem here, but this works for any general problem that looks like this. And we need to neglect the effects of base width modulation. Now, for this problem, we can look at the notes link below the like button, and we're gonna find a common base amplifier is very similar to what we have here. It looks kind of like the opposite, but it is the same form that we're going to be looking at. So when we're looking at something like this, what we're gonna want to do is find our gain. And our gain is represented by a V. The question is saying we want to find our voltage gain. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we're gonna take this and we are going to plug into it our values. Now there's a few values that we don't know. One of them is our r pi. So we need to find this. We have our r pi here. This is equal to, well, we've gone over this previously and our r pi is like how we found in our common emitter amplifier. Now for this one, we use this information right here. So we can take this and actually put this in this section of notes as well because even though they're a little bit different, some of the equations are very similar to each other. So we'll take this, we'll paste it in here, and we can see that if we use this same form, all of this right here, we can find our r pi. So our r pi, our r pi is going to be equal to, we have our, if we modify this a little bit, v1 over our ib, right? Now from here, we don't know our v1 or our ib. We do know our beta though. So what we can do is we can plug this in and we can solve for our GM. So we can say that our V1 is gonna be I over GM. So that is what this will look like. And then our IB is going to be I over beta. So with our cancellation, we can cancel out the I's and we're gonna have a beta over GM. We don't know our GM yet though, so let's find it. Well, if we look at our notes again, GM is equal to I naught over VI. So we can write GM is equal to i naught over vi but for our equation here we are going to use our ic over vt and if we do our ic over vt we're going to have a 802 microamps which is just 10 to the negative 6 divided by 26 milliamps so that's 10 to the negative 3 and this is going to give us approximately about a 30.846 milliamps and this is per volts and so this is our gm we could take this and plug this back into this equation right here we would just have 24 over our gm and this is going to give us our r pi which we would plug back into this equation after we plug back in all of our values we are going to get that our ab is equal to approximately 6.21 and this is in a V, so plus 6.21 is our answer. Now, we have some other ways, some other things that we can look about for this problem, and they look like this. We can find our resistors, and then we can also find these different scenarios right here. Next, we're going to look at another problem that looks something like this. It can be found in the playlist link below the like button. That's how we go about solving this problem, any of these add-ons, and how we look at this circuit.